Hello friends, in this video we will discuss the concept of small sample test, its types and how to find the value of T alpha. Welcome back friends, till now we are done with large sample test. There were two types, first one is test for single mean and the second one was test for difference between mean and we are aware about it if the sample size is greater than or equal to 30 it's a large sample test and if it is less than 30 then it's a small sample test so done with large sample test now we'll see small sample test so again here also there are two types test for single mean and test for difference between means but here in this case type 2 is further divided into dependent sample and independent sample now we starting with the type 1 that is test for single mean this one type 1 so for test of single mean this is the formula and friends if you observe this formula it is quite similar to large sample test the only difference is n minus 1 in large sample test that is n and in small sample test it is n minus 1 here this s can be calculated by using the formula this one where this term is sum of square of deviation from the mean so this formula will give you the value of s and if the sum of square of deviation from the mean is not mentioned so that can be calculated by this formula and in that formula you will be required di and if di is not mentioned you can calculate by using this particular formula so there are series of formula first of all you need to identify di through that you can calculate this term then after putting here you can get the value of s and finally you will get the value of t now friends this x bar is your assume mean that means you're going to assume so you can assume anything and this x bar that is the formula of t this x bar is not assumed this is actual actual means you need to calculate and the formula is summation of x upon n that means we're going to add all the values of x and we're going to divide by n small sample test is also called t test and large sample is called z test in type 1 null hypothesis was do you remember in alternate hypothesis there were three options not equal to less and greater the same story is here also null hypothesis mu is equal to given and in alternate hypothesis we have three options not equal to less and greater the same way we did in large sample test but friends do you remember the concept of one tailed and two tailed in case of large sample test yes the same concept will be applied here also here also two tailed and one tailed concept is there if it is not equal to then it is which test two tailed yes and if it is less and greater then it will be one tailed test so based on one tailed and two tailed in the last videos large sample test we have calculated the value of z alpha here we are going to find it out the value of t alpha since large sample test is z test so we are going to find the value of z alpha and small sample test is t test therefore we are going to find it out the value of t alpha now we will see how to use t table So this is your t table first of all friends just have a look here see this is your two tail test table why it is two tailed you can see the region is removed from both the sides therefore it is two tailed test table so whenever we take not equal to that means we're going to take two tail test and suppose there is one more concept that is called degree of freedom and let us assume degree of freedom is 10 for this particular uh, example so this is your degree of freedom 10 and suppose your los is 5 percent that is 0 0.05 so this is the value 
so this table is two tail test table now remember this suppose if we take one tail test that means in alternate hypothesis suppose we take greater or suppose we take less so greater or less so we have already discussed this is what one tail test right two tailed means the region will be removed from both the sides so if it is 5% los that means 5% removed from both the sides and if it is one tail test that means double of 5% that is 10% must be removed from one side so i think you are confused so just understand just remember one thing if you are taking two tail test that is not equal to you going to refer this table as it is let's say 15 degree of freedom 0.05 los this is your value 2.131 and if you're going to take one tail test you need to double the los that means if you have 15 degree of freedom and 5 percent los and if it is one tail test you need to double the los that means you're going to take 10 percent so the answer is 1.753 let me give you one more example to clarify your doubt. Suppose it is two tail test. Two tails means what? Not equal to. And suppose there is 20 degree of freedom and 5% LOS. So let me write it down. 20 degree of freedom and 5% LOS. And let's say it is two tailed. So as we discussed, this z table is already two tail table so directly we're going to check 20 0 0.05 so this is the answer that is 2.086 and suppose same degree of freedom that is 20 and same los suppose 5 percent los and if it is one tail test if it is one tail test then you need to double the los right so double the los means you're going to consider 10 percent so 20 degree of freedom and 10 percent so this is the answer that is 1.725 hope this is clear now we'll see in the next videos how to solve the problems based on small sample test Thank you.